Um, welcome, welcome to Crackers and Mug. This is your host, David. I'm joined by Jacob and Hi guys. Michael. Yay. We are excited to bring our next episode. Um, it. Jake has our synopsis for it. Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Yes. As more star systems get swept into the Clone Wars, the valiant Jedi Knights struggle to maintain order. Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan learner, Ahsoka Tano, yeah, yeah. embark on a mission that brings them face-to-face with Jabba the Hutt. Plotting against them is evil Count Dooku and his agent, as Asai Ventress, who would ens- ensnare, ensure that th- the Jedi fails. Meanwhile, Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi lead the clone army against the forces of the dark side. Nice. Okay. Our top ten for 2008 is The Dark Knight with 997 million. Um, The greatest Indiana Jones, Crystal School. Oh, shut up. No way. (laughs) Really? (laughs) <laughs> just like, please no, please no, <laughs> no. Uh, then Kung Fu Panda, Hancock, Mamma Mia, Madagascar Two, Quantum, Sol- Quantum of Solace, James Bond, James Bond, Iron Man, then Wally, and um, Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. Wow. Oh, so another one that's not oh, in the top ten. Yeah. Well. We're not surprised on this one because it's an animated, right? Yeah. yeah. Does it follow the, you know, I, the TMNT Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one like that? Doesn't it look like that? Did right. you ever watch that one? I never watched that one. Oh. I don't think it was released for a wide release either. Oh. But do you think if it if it did, it would have done well? I don't know. Mike, what Mike, does the money yeah. say? Yeah, what money, 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 money. Money. Following the money. Oh, boy, they spent nothing on this. Well, I mean, yeah, if it's animated, yeah. right? You have yeah. a bunch of people sitting at their desks. You're not yeah. crossing the world. and Yeah. yeah. $8.5 million. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Uh, and they made it all back on the opening weekend of $14 million. Wow. Hey. And then $35 million for the total in the U.S., $68 million total worldwide. Huh. So eight point five million dollars and the profit of sixty eight million dollars resulted in a profit of eight hundred three percent. Wow, better percentage than the last movie. Whoa, much better. Way yeah, well, better. Yeah, than Solo. Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard to beat. Poor little Solo. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Still, shouldn't it be that way? Well, Somewhat. But yeah. 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 well, you know, if Disney, right? If they're taking over. Maybe they're just going to start doing animated stuff. They make way more money if they animate it. And they're they're good at animating. That's what I, I agree with that. Yeah. Why not throw it over to Pixar and do a Star Wars movie? That would be kind of cool. That would be interesting to see. Yeah. Massively interesting to see. What, Buzz Lightyear fighting with a, <laughs> yes. a lightsaber versus Darth Vader? To infinity and beyond. Well, they did, they did, they did try and copy that with uh, Toy Story 2. Yes, I know. Uh, it was already in the works. Uh, huh. Nice. But still, their animation, their type of animation, because they have a certain type of animation. And animation is getting a lot better. You almost don't need actors, almost. Almost? There you go. Save almost. more money. Uh, who's going to talk? I was saying almost. I didn't say. I just said almost. Okay? Almost doesn't mean all. Almost. This guy. Yeah. Almost. This guy. Almost. Almost. I'm just, just kind of, yeah. No. Almost, almost ain't all of it. No. I disagree. Why would you disagree with almost not? It's all right. Let's all get into it. this, guys. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. The Clone Wars movie, which is available on Disney+. Plus. Yes. Which does start, it kicks off the ser- TV series yes. and it had a, a, The Clone Wars. I believe it had a limited theatrical release. Oh, it did? When it came out. Wow. Did I go and see it? No. no. I, I, I don't mind seeing it on Disney Plus or 
on an opportunity to watch it on a streaming thing. But yeah. like, I like going to a theater and watching that type of movie. I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. Personally speaking, but that's because it's me. No, I understand. No. Yeah. So what did you um, what did you learn about this? Like with the when you watched it, what did you learn the most about with this movie when it comes to Star Wars lore, Star Wars canon, that sort of stuff? That it introduces one of the characters I want to see in a live action. Who? Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. Tano. That's Count Dooku's apprentice. No. No. No? It's That's, uh, Anakin's. Anakin's. Oh, Anakin's apprentice. apprentice. Okay. Ventress's. Ventress is the villain. The, or uh, Dooku's, Dooku's apprentice. Assassin. Yeah. Assassin. Yeah. Why do you want to see this girl in... Because she's an awesome character. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And you'll... As you watch more of the Clone Wars, yeah, and then the Rebels mm-hmm. TV show, you'll yeah. find more and more uh, out about her. Why didn't they include her in a, in the live action stuff? The CGI. I don't Is know. CGI? <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't. Because I don't work for Disney. They could have included her in Revenge of the Sith a little bit. At least shown a little bit of her in Revenge of the Sith. She didn't... The character wasn't written until after. after. Oh. So she oh. was somewhere else during those times. You find out in the course of the Clone Wars why she's not in Episode 3. Oh, oh. so they do write that in to and why yes. she's in there. Oh. This clone... The Clone Wars is between Episode 2 and Episode the, 3. Yes. Okay, this this movie and the TV series is between these two movies. Yes. Okay, and we'll we'll talk about the the TV run later. Yeah. Uh, I found the one thing that I found interesting is uh, Jabba the Hutt with this. Like, I, I get Dooku's thing, but Jabba has a baby. It's like, what? Jabba has a baby? Yeah. I was like just shocked by that. Well. They have to come from somewhere. I know they have to come from somewhere, but you never, you know, like, it it just doesn't get talked about very much, like relations very much in the Star Wars series. No, I understand. Not to take this too lowbrow, but why does he have all those dancers and stuff? I'm not saying he's not horny. (laughs) It's just... Why did he have Leia in a metal bikini? Yeah, that's true. Well, it, it was just kind of surprising. I thought, like, yeah. like when I watched this movie, I remember talking to somebody, and I'm like, "Did you know Jabba had a baby? I didn't know Jabba had a baby." Yeah, because Jabba had a baby. I, it's I was the, so it's surprised the that Jabba had a clan. Baby. So yeah. there's going to be more than yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Who's the other hut in this movie? His uncle. Zero. 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 His uncle. Who, for the first time I met Zero, was a woman. A woman, Java, because I was like, "Oh, wait, 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 wait!" He looked like a woman. He looked like a a woman. No, it's 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 a male. Yeah, it's an uncle. Until they later said my uncle, and I was like, "Holy crap!" I thought that's a female this whole time. He did sound because are you far enough in the TV show where you've seen him? Oh no, I don't think so. Okay, no. Where are you at in the TV show? I'm only in episode six of season one. Oh, I'm in season two. Dang. Dang. Yeah, yeah you're farther. Yeah. Season four, but... Season four, you're in... But you've watched it before. I've seen some episodes before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I do... I'm happy that Christopher Lee is Dooku in this. Yeah. He's like, like his the, voice. Yeah, his the voice. Vo- he does yeah. voice act that one. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy yeah. about that one. Um, and then they tried, definitely tried to get, I felt they tried to get people that sound very similar to like Samuel L. Jackson. No, Samuel L. Jackson played his character. Oh, in the movie? In the movie. Oh, Did yeah. He? Okay. Not in the TV, so I'm, I'm intermixing them. Oh, yeah. But yeah. 
in the movie. I like that one. And then Ian McGregor didn't do his. No. no. But, but I thought somebody. it sounded yeah. like him. I was, like, impressed. It was, was really impressed. close. Yeah. And then, of course, Hayden Christensen didn't do his. No. But I like that voice actor. He did a really good job. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah. Same with Obi-Wan. Yeah. I thought it was good. I enjoy. I enjoyed this movie. Like, I was kind of shocked a little surprised but at the same time like and then with Anakin him and his Padawan was it really Obi-Wan that set that up that's what it sounded like because that's what he said he's like well I think you set this up to me to train yeah it's like you need to grow up yeah. dude yeah that's yeah. that's probably what it was right yeah. I've mm-hmm. I've taken you through. Now yeah. you need to take somebody else through. Yeah. And I found it like with it with Anakin. You can tell that he has a where he can't give somebody up. Like um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like exa- um, separation anxiety. Oh, separation okay. anxiety. Yeah, he has he that seems like that a yeah. lot. Yeah. Because when he, when his Padawan was fit, like, he's like, oh, she's kind of in danger. Yeah. Oh, man. He's like, oh, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. I talked with Jake about this. I, well, with the, with Clone Wars. Yeah. The movie. No. The, no. The, the TV, TV show. show the yeah. six episode. Yeah. Whatever. It's been great to see Anakin as a good guy. Yeah. yeah. And I I loved like but the whole time in the back of my mind every move he makes I go, oh man oh man yeah. Yeah. this guy's destined to be a bad bad yeah. guy, but it's fun to see like yeah just yeah, yeah. It, but <laughs> at the same time like because you know the end result of Anakin like these this movie. You didn't. You don't understand, or you don't see the little movements that he has um, from two to three movies, right? right. Like yeah. from number two to number three, you don't see the movements nope. at all. Like, what's the time span between those two? Isn't it like four or five years? Four or five years, something like so that. So, like in He's those doing four, a five, lot of stuff in four or five. Yeah, years. and yeah. especially during a war. Yep, f- tons of things. Tons of and things. so you make a lot of these decisions. And in this movie, you see a little bit of his decision making and like, oh, okay. So this is, you can see that. And then, you know, of course, when we talk about the TV series, we see that more, those small little decisions that he makes to be okay with making the big decision when it comes in his, when it crosses his path. Like, I thought that was so interesting. Even with his Padawan. Ahsoka, he's yeah. he's helping someone become a Jedi, a Jedi yeah. master, yeah. Mm-hmm. and he's helping somebody become good. Yeah, quote exactly. Quote. So yeah. I mean, it's awesome, and I'm sure we all have people in our lives like that. Like, yeah. oh, they were awesome. They they helped me become who I am. Oh yeah. But maybe they don't believe the same way you do anymore. And you're like, whoa, they, that's so crazy that they went oh, to yeah. the quote unquote dark, dark side. side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Anakin though. But then, like, I love him more and more. Watching these, I go, oh, yeah. this guy is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll j- just wait till you. Get, yeah, I know. Get through this. Well, yeah, the TV show. Well, like with this movie, it it shows what a great Jedi is. Like even Obi Wan calls tells um, Jabba that we have a, one of the more powerful Jedi. Um, Giddy retrieving your son. And that sort of thing. Yeah. So it makes three a better movie, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 This one, like, like these one, this movie definitely does, and then the TV series too. Yeah. Well, it's fun. I, I don't know. We'll get to these, the whatever yeah. cliffhangers and all that. But I love the fight between Anakin and Count Dooku. The one in the desert. In the desert. Yeah. yeah. When he's because he uses the. What, what do we even call it? Just the force, force. of, because a force push. Yeah, those yeah. force push. But you don't see. I don't see too many 
Jedi use that when they're fighting Mm-mm. very often. Am mm. I wrong? Every once in a while. Yeah, every once in a while. But it seems like the... But it seems that it's his move. It seems like... Well, right. no, it seems like, like Siths use the f- fingers like, or the, the lightning. lightning. They yeah. use, like, other tactics. Yeah. When the Jedi, I'm like, why aren't they using that crap? Yeah. Let's let's use this cool stuff to defeat people. But they seem more controlled. Yeah. It, it makes sense. But that 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 fighting scene when yeah. he's does that push and the sand yeah. is going against uh Dooku and Dooku oh, yeah. pushes back yeah. and yeah. it pushes Yeah. And I love that I don't know, that was Yeah, the the lightsaber battles in this are, are pretty good. I yeah. mean the the fight between Obi Wan and Ventress. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have a question about the lightsabers. Yeah. Why are the lightsabers like hooked or curved with those two? Because Dooku has it and she does too. Well, she's the apprentice. Okay, Dooku. but why does Dooku have it that way? It's just a sword His fighting design. style. Because it, well, it's like a look curved at, handle. Look at sabers yeah. from the past yeah. and their handles. It's, and the way he holds it, yeah. he, it's, he fights like he's holding a saber. Oh. Like a like saber a, you would use on a horse. Oh, wow. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Man, Dooku. Whew. Yeah. So when uh, Jedi fight, do they ever say mean things to the person they're fighting against? I sense that you are feeling happy thoughts <laughs> about your mother. <laughs> I've I've never heard it. But. No, it's all the, the Sith they lords. Like they're that, always though? they're always saying. Why wouldn't they? Why well, don't? No, I I would under. Yeah, I would. I think. guess we just haven't met a trash talking. Uh, trash talking Jedi. Jedi well, kind of do it where they're like. Um, Luke kind of does it where it's like, "Well, I see your, um, like in Episode Six. No, like I really want conflict. like Samuel L. Jackson to go. You fool. Mm. <laughs> I'm the best swordsman in this galaxy. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. You made a mistake pulling that out. <laughs> okay. We've talked a little bit about s- lightsaber colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With Samuel Jackson's, I know he chose that purple color. He wanted mm-hmm. that purple color. Have they assigned a power to that yet? Like... In in the in depth and all that stuff, off the top of my mind, I I don't know. Because I was watching, so I was watching a lightsaber color. Like they were ch- explaining the lightsaber yeah. colors, and all they said was like, "Oh, Samuel Jackson wanted it, and that's why they got it." <laughs> and it's like we haven't assigned any power to it. And it's like, okay, I'm cool. thinking that's what it is. <laughs> nope. But isn't Mace Windu like one of the best battle Jedi? people yeah no he's seriously in, the in, best in, swordsman yeah in the in the in throughout the star wars universe like yeah. you know what we've learned and all that stuff like that's what um i've heard that he's like the best swordsman he's the yeah. best battle guy in there yeah oh so i wonder if they'll assign it like oh yeah it's a you're a great swordsman yeah maybe maybe not maybe. really but you never know you never know you just never know. I mean, the the lore has become much more than was originally intended with the with the, the bad guys had red. Yeah. The good guys had blue until they needed a green one because against a blue sky. <laughs> That's crazy. And so, so yeah. Crazy. The lore has been like it's it's expanded a lot yeah. from from that point. Oh yeah. Like I, I found it interesting that lore of lightsaber colors mm-hmm. and that sort of thing. So I found that way interesting. I don't want to talk about it too much right now. Yeah, because who, we're talking about the Clone Wars. Yeah. <laughs> who creates the these canonized versions of so like the writers for this movie? Did they whoever Disney they uh, they assign say, a writer and say yeah. hey. Make it and tie it into what we have currently of canon. So they took things that were done by 
Lucas, this yeah. the the Clone Wars was a Lucas Arts project, right? Yeah. And they brought it into canon. Okay, okay. It was, the Legends was mainly books. Yeah, there's Clone Wars, that little you know twelve parter or whatever that was on the Cartoon Network. Yeah, was was not done by Lucas. Lucas. This was set up by Lucas. This was. Okay. It wasn't done by Lucas, but Lucas had to give it its okay for that. Yeah, and he did. And he did. So wouldn't that just... the I forget the director's name, but he's the master mastermind behind the Clone Wars, the movie yeah. and the TV show, and Rebels. Yeah. And season seven of the, the Clone Wars is coming. Oh, really? They're doing another season? They're doing another season. So they're fitting four years... Isn't that what it is? Between so, yeah. They're fitting tons of story. Well, that tons of story. Yeah. Just yeah, there's a lot of stories. Because. So just this is a question for Jake. If he were on the writing team, I like yeah. would he write would you write something different or any of the stories so far that you've seen different? I wouldn't write any of the R two D two C three PO story. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not to get too much into the TV show, but yeah. the movie was fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it was. It seemed like it was like like four or five episodes just jammed together. Yeah, mm-hmm. it did. Yeah, yeah. Like watching the TV series and then watching the movie too, or watching the movie then watching the TV series. It's then rewatching the movie. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, this is. They could have broken this up in a few they episodes. I, yeah. I kept waiting for the narrator. <laughs> to tell me what was happening in each part. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on this planet, <laughs> Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker is yeah. tracking <laughs> across the desert with his Padawan Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> is, do you think that's why they made the TV series? They were like, oh, yeah. oh man, let's, let's oh, do definitely. this the right way. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's one of the creators of canon, okay. if you yeah. will. Okay, can I ask with because some of this because some legends that we've been bringing up legends to like do they um would they ever ask a legends author to help with doing they did. a movie? They did not not a movie, but but they did it, this one. No, the oh. the guy who Timothy's on. We've yeah. talked about him before. Yeah. They asked him to write a canon Thrawn book. Oh, really? And so it brought him Into because it. he was going to be in Rebels. Yeah, and so and Thrawn's in Rebels. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Because I really want to get to him because of what you've talked about and what other people have talked about Mm -hmm. with him. Because he's just a general. He's not... He's an admiral. Admiral. Okay. okay. Grand admiral. Okay, let me ask. With the admiral that's in the movie, Mm -hmm. is that Tarkin? Tarkin? No. No? You're talking the British guy with the mustache? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean the the um, the guy who was in charge of the Death Star in Episode Four. No, I, I know. I'm telling you, no, that's not the oh. same character. Do they? Just asking in the TV series, do they bring in Tarkin? Not that I've come across. Oh, why wouldn't they? But at the same, because like you would think that they'd hate work with yeah. the clones because he eventually works with the clones. Right. Yeah. It's just kind of interesting. I was just wondering. That's my only big question with so that. So a main theme with the uh, episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. and maybe the other ones too, but Jacob would a lot say is George Lucas doesn't know his story. Yeah, doesn't know his very story. much. So I'm wondering, is this feel like they know what they're talking about in yeah. this? It's yeah. But even though George said it was okay, he he didn't. I don't think he had a lot, to do, with had a story. lot to do with it. So, do you think it's more enjoyable now that it's like, oh, this all goes together? It makes sense, even though R two D two is in it. R two D two and C three P O. C three P O. 
what we're talking about the movie sky. Yeah. Yes. No, no. No, I just want it's just interesting to if if somebody knew the story, which these writers apparently yeah. do. Yeah. And it just makes it a more enjoyable experience. It, yes, it does. Okay. It makes it like it seems like they like they understand the stories of 1 2 3 4 1 through 6. Right. And so that they can always incorporate even the little things yeah. that 4 5 and 6 are talking about. Yeah. In in these in, in this movie, movie. Yep. and then one two and three you know one one two and three so there's not a, like a choppy yeah. thing like George has done yeah they confuse us yeah. they, these people understand Star Wars and they gave it the respect that you know is warranted to good. make a good movie yeah. yeah and I think that's why I liked it I it, yeah. it seemed very enjoyable and I oh, watched yeah. it twice over the weekend. So. Yeah, and I've I've seen it a few times, and it's just interesting. Like it's a very it, it, to get in between two and three to understand some of their adventures. Like mm-hmm. to understand this adventure and starts other adventures. It's like oh, this is kind of this is really interesting and cool mm. all at the same time. Shows how Anakin and Obi Wan are like brothers. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they know. I love it because they know what each other is thinking. Oh, you know, he's going to do this. Oh, he's yeah. going to be here. This is yeah. da, 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 da. Oh, I know yeah. him. No, no, no. I'm like, oh, that's cool yeah. that they know yeah. each other so well. And you see um, Amidala trying to hide and Anakin trying to hide. Yeah. Well, all of us know that they're married and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 And some of the coolest characters in the yeah. whole of Star Wars come out. Rex and Cody. Rex. Yeah. Cody. Rex and Cody. Commander Cody. Yeah. yeah. I saw a little thing about how he became Commander Cody mm-hmm. from that yeah. old 1950s show that uh, George Lucas watched. Really? Yeah. Huh. That was a, some crime-fighting <laughs> guy with a jetpack on in the 1950s in cowboy yeah. times. That's how <laughs> Commander Cody came about. Hmm. Yeah. But, but Rex is... Rex, a yeah. good character. Yeah, Rex yeah. is a great character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, so the, it's not in the magazine, but should no, we do not. a cliffhanger? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't think there really was one, but I can't. Like, it definitely well, there was <laughs> one, but based on this magazine, they don't even know what the term cliffhanger means. Yeah. So Pretty I think sure. the cliffhanger. No. <laughs> well, like it, like I. With this one, because it, it's what it is, and we know the it leads into TV series, a TV series. Yeah. Like, I don't know if there was. A, do we want to talk about that? Do I want to do a cliffhanger or scene well, stealer? Let's do key moment and okay. scene stealer. Key moment and scene stealer. Okay. Scene stealer for me was the fight. Oh, yeah. That's what I love. Okay. What about you? Well, I'd say that's the key moment. That's okay. Key moment. See, this is why I don't like this, everyone. My brain doesn't translate these. Well, it doesn't matter. That that's your scene stealer. That's, my that's what stealer. you like. What's your that's your key moment? What's what your scene stealer? Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, that's a good one. When she's introduced, when she comes off and says, "Hey, I'm your Padawan." Yeah. 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 How I, she saves him by dropping the the, oh, the building. On, oh, that's on good the, on the droids. And then when she's telling the the, the troopers, troopers about it, that's pretty funny. Um, baby. Um, Jabba. <laughs> baby Jabba. Baby Stinky. Jabba, dude. Stinky. Stinky. <laughs> yeah, that one is like, Baby Jabba, what the heck? He was ugly, but Baby Jabba. Baby Jabba was my scene stealer. And then uh, my key moment, um, I did like his Padawan. I think that was an interesting um, bring in. I thought that was a very key moment because then you wanted to see more about her and Anakin's relationship. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell us what you think is the key moment and um, our se- and your scene stealer in the movie. So please subscribe, rate, and leave a comment. And we are on most podcasting formats, so please come and listen to us. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.